She be waiting and plotting, yo. She stays scheming. Huh. Okay, it's like the moment we have like half an hour to ourselves, she's like, all right, let me go. She's gonna open up her phone, look at a list like A, B, and C. This man didn't do all this shit in last week. I'm gonna go at him today. We haven't argued in three days. That's too long. <laughs> you stay scheming. Hey, lovelies. Welcome back to another video. Today, my loving, sweet, kind, handsome husband is going to ask me some questions. Hopefully, there's some good ones. I have no idea what he's about to ask me. They can be some juicy questions, some funny questions, some real life questions. I don't know. I don't know what's in store, but we're gonna find out. So I was supposed to think of five questions. I can only think of four. I tried to think of a fifth one. So hopefully, fingers crossed, by the end of the video, I'll be able to think of a fifth question to ask her on the spot. Okay, so these are some short questions. Good. And I never told her any of the questions, so first time you're gonna be hearing them, and you gotta think of some good answers on the spot. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see. What is the first question? So right off the rip, what is the number one thing I do that you absolutely hate? There's a lot. Yeah, I know, unfortunately. <laughs> Can I name a few, or does it have to be like only one? <laughs> I mean, do you have a number one spot? Um, honestly, I think everything you do <laughs> that pisses I, I do me off. a lot of things that pisses Shannon off, like a lot of things. Do you want me to name those few or do you just want me to name one? Alright, let's name top, top three. Top three. So. One is that I do the dishes, the sink is empty, the counter is clean. What does Dave do? He goes and puts a dirty dish in the sink and doesn't even do it. In my defense, I do a lot of dishes too in the house. And if I put a dish in the sink, it's not that I'm not gonna do it. I will do it, just at a later time. So it's not like I'm just gonna leave it there. You just so happen to go before I get to it and do it. And that's why you get upset. But it's irritating because you have a clean, nice, empty sink and he goes and puts dirty dishes in the sink. For an example, if I just had dinner and I got the itis and I'm stuffed and I'm just on the sofa relaxing, I'm not gonna wanna go do a couple of dishes in the sink. I'm gonna leave it, I'm gonna lay down, relax, and then maybe after an hour or so, I'll go do it. Not even because then we end up watching movies and then it gets to bedtime and then we go to bed. He goes, oh, I'll just do it in the morning. That's only once in a while. Once, okay, once in a while. So top three, okay. <laughs> Secondly, he takes up all the space on the bed. Okay, so I'm a pretty big guy, okay, first of all. We have No, wait, I didn't even finish, okay? He uses a pillow that he sleeps with that he hugs up, <laughs> okay? Like, just imagine a pillow, this big ass guy, and then little old me. I'm like at the edge of the bed. Okay, listen, don't, you can't say I'm the reason why you're at the edge of the bed because the moment we go to sleep, she immediately turns around and goes straight to the edge herself. There's always a gap in the middle of the bed. There's a reason why I turn around because you take up all the space. I told him I'm gonna throw him and the pillow outside. <laughs> no, but if you turn around and I turn around, there's a gap in the middle. I'm clearly not taking up all the space. That's what he thinks. And I just sleep with a pillow. It's not because I'm hugging it up to fall asleep. It's just comfortable because I stretch out and I just relax my hand over something instead of having it hanging off the bed or just uncomfortable. I think I have a pretty good valid argument there too. And I'm a big guy. We have a queen. We we really need a king size bed. Not even we need a California king. California king's only bigger long wise, like in length, not width. So we actually need a king size that's bigger in width, not length, if I'm correct. I don't know, but, but if yeah. you wake up one day and you're outside the window, don't be upset. I, I would love to see you put me outside of a window <laughs> and I'm not aware of it. That'll be the it'll be the day where I even find you. Pulling you off the Wait, bed. can I can I combine two things in that one category? Since we're talking about like sleep. Okay. So Dave <laughs> It will be two o'clock, three o'clock, huh. four o'clock huh. in the morning. Okay. He wakes up. <laughs> He's like, babe, babe. <laughs> oh this this is going completely where and I did not expect. I turned around and I'm like <laughs> what? And he's just looking there like, and I just go back to sleep. Like, this guy would wake up in the middle of the night panicking, 
or <laughs> screaming my name or yelling my name and wakes me up and it just it's so aggravating so i'm starting to think that like i'm sleep talking or i'm doing something in my sleep i think it's the amount of stress you put me through throughout the day <laughs> <laughs> it just manifests itself whilst i'm sleeping okay blame me for that okay i think that's what's happening here i think we just need two separate bedrooms <laughs> <laughs> because when i be waking up in the morning and she be telling me yo you woke me up last night and you were saying A, B, and C. I'm like, really? I don't remember any of it. There's nothing I can do. Just don't stress me out that much and maybe it will stop. Okay. <laughs> okay, and what's the third thing? When I ask Dave to do something, he does not do it until he feels like doing it. And he ends up doing it like maybe the next day or a couple days after or even a week later. So then he gets pissed Yo. off at me for going to do the thing I told him to do. And then it turns into like a whole argument. Okay, so that's a little bit exaggerating. Only part of it is true. So if she tells me to do something, yes, I do not do it right away. Why? I have a reason for whatever it is that I don't feel like doing it at He's that moment. He's busy watching TV or playing games. Yeah, because if I'm just doing something, it's like I don't want to go like stop my vibe and just go like do something and then come back. It just kind of like ruins the moment that I'm in right now. I'm focused. I'm doing something. But if I'm gonna do something, yes, I'm gonna do it on my own time later on in the day when I have the time to do it and I'm not focused on something else. If it's the next day, the only reason why I'll push something to the next day is if something comes up and we're busy or whatever the case may be. Sometimes she'd be telling me to do things. We are busy for like three, four days in a row back to back to back where we're completely exhausted and tired. And then on day five, she's like, oh, why you didn't do this? I'm like, you were with me 24 7 the past five days where did i have time to do it so how do i find the time to do it because that's the only time when we when you finally have time to do it that's when i have the time but you just go and get it done before i do it and then you get it's like she be waiting and plotting yo she stays scheming huh. okay it's like the moment we have like half an hour to ourselves she's like all right let me go she gonna open up a phone look at a list like a b and c this man didn't do all this shit in last week i'm gonna go at him today we haven't argued in three days. That's too long. <laughs> you stay scheming. This is marriage life, y'all. This is living with a spouse. If you're not married, this is exactly what it's gonna be like. Telling your significant other to do something and you just end up doing it yourself. You know, it's funny because I can say the same thing. Sometimes I'll be telling you to do things and you don't do it either. What do you tell me to do? Like, if I was to tell you, like, what was it, two nights ago? I, I went to heat up her food in the microwave, right? I tell her to put some pepper on my food. What does she do? She takes the pepper and puts it on my plate. I turn around and I ask her, did you put pepper on my food? She says, yes, it's in your plate. I'm like, I didn't actually put the pepper on my food. I put, like put it in my food. Like In my defense, you was not specific. And that's all you got on me, bro? Like, Why would I tell you to put something the... better. No, listen, get something listen, better. Listen, 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 listen. That's the last thing I can remember right now. Because oh, anytime okay. you put me on the spot, I can't remember anything. Okay. All right, but that's besides the point. I asked you to do something. I asked nicely. And what do you do? Not do it. Okay. Why would I tell you to just put the pepper in my plate on the side? <laughs> I clearly want pepper with my food, too. Okay, but did I do it? At after that exact I asked moment? you a yes. second time, after you asked and me. after I came back to the table, because you, you know the specific. funny thing too, I was standing by the microwave and I was looking at her. I was like, I was just staring at her. I was like, is she ever gonna put that pepper on my food? And she was over there chilling, or probably on her phone. I forgot what you were I doing. I was eating. You were not eating. I had your food. <laughs> Look at her making up excuses already. <laughs> so I'm just like looking at her, like, okay, no pepper. Microwave beeping, no pepper. <laughs> Take out the plate, no pepper. I was like, babe, you plan on putting pepper on my food? Said, oh, that's what you wanted? And then she started dabbing the pepper, like. Man, I'm, I'm a mom, I have like. Don't be blaming mom brain, don't blame, <laughs> don't blame motherhood. You, that's your number one go-to <laughs> excuse for everything. Mom brain, motherhood, tired. I get it, yes, it's true, but not for everything. <laughs> a lot on my plate a lot that you, you didn't have a plate off. that night i had your plate <laughs> there was no plate the only plate there was mine and you couldn't even focus on that plate <laughs> okay but oh, whatever <laughs> all right so i think we're on to the next question now if you could choose one place to live in the world where would it be and why no matter the cost 
I mean, like, money's not an option. See, these kind of questions I like to do my research on because it has to be someplace warm. I don't like the cold. I would think you wouldn't have to do research, like, you would already have it off the top of the mind. I don't know. Because you know where my go to places, but even there gets cold now. Cali don't get as cold as other places. Yeah, but Cali has crazy traffic. We're not trying to deal with that traffic. Don't go nowhere. <laughs> We're not going to Florida because everybody and their moms go Florida. I'm not going to Florida because I'm not trying to go to somewhere where they're trying to kill me. Chill. You got you got pythons and snakes and alligators. And I'm good, bro. No, I like living somewhere where I know wildlife is not trying to kill me. For a hot minute, we wanted to go to New Jersey because they've actually found us like a huge house in New Jersey. But New Jersey is cold weather, so... And I can't live in a state where I can't make a left turn. <laughs> like, that shit just don't seem right to me. <laughs> um, this is a hard question. New York. <laughs> See, so I had a feeling she's gonna say New York. That's like her go-to answer every New single York. time. So after everything, you'll still choose New York. I grew up in New York. There's no place like I, home. I mean like anywhere in the world, I said. Place like home. <laughs> okay, so, uh, I, I already knew that was coming, but I was curious to see if you'd have still, because like your mind's always changing from one place to another. Does Arizona get cold? This is the desert. Oh. It'll, it'll get chilly, but not like cold. Arizona's like... beautiful. Have you been? No, but I've seen like pictures. Oh. <laughs> Do, have I been? <laughs> I don't know. You've been to other places before oh I met you. Oh my gosh. You, you, the way you're talking about Arizona, how beautiful it is, like you've been there or something. Utah gets freaking cold. Probably because, like, what, 30s? Yeah. And they we get hit crazy 30s over floods. here. Yeah. But flood prevention is very easy to house. The main thing is, like, you have to worry about not just it being cold necessarily, it's about heavy winds that makes it cold and snow. Because yeah. even when it snows, it's not cold. It's just you have to deal with snow. Nope. No, thank you. So, I think Cali's still the best option then. Because it doesn't snow in Cali, does it? I don't think so. It shouldn't, at least. And it only gets cold enough where you can wear a nice jacket. But you, I don't where you're freezing. Honey, you go Cali and you deal with that traffic, okay? Well, I'm the one who won't be driving anyway. Okay, you do that. But I don't want to go to Cali. Let me know how it goes. Only reason why I want to go to Cali is for the food. So, let's go. And they have, they have better places over there, honestly. Like, lifestyle, I think Texas still has it. Maybe like South Carolina, Myrtle Beach. What? That sounds like a place I'll go to retire or something. <laughs> what do I look like going to Myrtle, Myrtle Beach. Beach? What was that video saying um, what we were watching? It's the it's number the one growing city in America, I think. Yes. Or up and coming city. Yes. But there's a lot of constructions going on there. Okay, New York it is. New York. I, I knew it was going to be New York. I don't blame you. I was just now back in my old neighborhood the other day and I was like, yo, when, are you, when you're driving through it, mm -hmm. it's like, you know, that's your Flash childhood, that's where memory. you grew up. Yeah. So it's like, damn, like, I never thought I'd be leaving this place. I'm always, I always wanted to, but now that I'm gone, I miss it. Like, despite the coldness, the weather and stuff, like, there's no place like New York. I agree 100%. New so York is the best. So much things to do, so much places to go. It's beautiful. It, it's the best and, and the worst all at the same time. All at the same time, yeah, I agree. All right, you guys, my baby woke up from his nap, so he'll be joining us too, okay? You know, Sage, you always likes being part of the videos. Hmm. You're mean, you're mean. Oh, you're so sheepy. You're mean, you're mean. Hello. Hello. Say hi, wave hi. Okay. <laughs> Next question. All right. So, question number three. If you had to guess, yo, the odds of this question coming up as soon as Sage gets here too. Oh. What are the odds of that? Yeah. Okay, so Papa, this is gonna be about you. Yes. All right, so let's see what Mama has to say. Oh. If you had to guess what Sage would be when he grows up, what would it be? A doctor, hands down. You think so? Yeah, he's gonna take care of Mommy when she gets older. <laughs> Honey Pie, you wanna be a doctor? Well, he doesn't seem to like the doctors when he goes to them right now, so. I don't think he might wanna be one when he grows Maybe up. Maybe he might strive to be a better doctor than they are. <laughs> Right, Papa? He looked like he wants to do some sports. You want to be a football star? You could be a football star. The way he's already throwing hands and and beating me up and aggressively fighting with every single thing he touches, UFC might be the number one option for him right now. <laughs> you want to be UFC? 
And then when I go ahead and I, I do punches with him, he gets so excited. Papa, you ready? You do that fighting, don't you? Doctor, football, F1 driver. I didn't say or UFC. Driver. No. Mama Pro. I didn't say UFC either. Cool. All right. So fourth question: What's your least favorite gift I ever got you that you said you liked? Let the truth come out. We going back, back? Any gift you want. Your least favorite, though. So technically, it has to be one. I need to think about that because you got me so many things. Yeah. Wh honestly. There's also a lot of things you don't use anymore. So most likely it's probably one of those or something you just never used in general. You need to help me with this. I'm not gonna help you with... What? <laughs> it's funny, Valentine's Day is coming up. And somebody didn't ask him to be his Valentine yet. Exactly what I'm talking about. We're not even in February yet. Let it, me get into the month. It does not matter. Let me get into the month. I don't gotta reserve my Valentine, okay? She be waiting and plotting, yo. She stay scheming. Huh. Okay, it's like the moment we have like half an hour to ourselves, she's like, all right, let me go. She's gonna open up her phone, look at a list like A, B, and C. This man's didn't do all this shit in last week. I'm gonna go at him today. We haven't argued in three days. That's too long. <laughs> you stay scheming. I'm gonna get into the month and then I'm gonna ask you. Okay? <laughs> nah. No, Let me do that on my own time. No, don't ask me. Yo, do you want to go back throwbacks right now to when we first started dating? Because this is reminding me of the same thing then. Sure. So when we first, a week into us like just oh, seeing no, no, each no, no, other, no, no, no. okay? Just a week, she goes and like start pressing me. Yo, so when you gonna ask me out like I didn't to press. be your girlfriend? I'm like, bro, we only been seeing each other for a week. When you rushing things? We not even in February yet. She asking me about her being by Valentine. Okay, like, he, you wanna go you there? You forever rushing me. Okay, in my defense, the first day, we met, mm -hmm. right? In person, in person, because we talked like at least a week or two weeks before that. I think after your birthday, you started talking to me. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> the first day we met in person, he's pressing me about why do I like him? And then got upset at me for not saying anything. So tell me, how is that rushing? Yeah, okay, so in my defense, I was just trying to make a conversation here. So he's defending me now. No, he's not. He's like, what's wrong with you? <laughs> I picked her up. We was hanging out the whole time. And she was dead silent. I'm trying to make conversations, bring up any topic I can possibly bring up. And she's just sitting there, man, quiet and shy. He's like, not even talking. I'm over there, like, knocking out nuggets after nuggets. Because <laughs> yeah. I'm out here eating my McDonald's and all that. I'm so, I, so if you're not going to talk, I'm going to eat. It's that simple. That's not true. He's out here pressing me about why I like him on our first date at McDonald's. We weren't at McDonald's. Well, we went to get McDonald's. Yeah, well, I think I went to get McDonald's. Look, look at us seven years later. Still getting McDonald's. <laughs> That's how he was born. <laughs> He's a McDonald's baby. Hi, baby. Yo, McDonald's, come through come. if you watch it. <laughs> Um, least favorite gift? Let's see, you've got me a blanket. You've got me... What, what blanket did I get you? Blanket behind Sage me. got you that. Oh, so, sorry, Sage Man, got me Man, sitting right here, you're going to disrespect him like that. There's not one bad gift. Besides, like, the blanket Sage got me and the coffee cup. But everything else, I've approved. So, what you're telling me is I've never gotten you a bad gift. I don't think so. If I was to ask you that question, I'm pretty sure you... <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> what? Listen, okay, so we both know I am really difficult to shop for. Yeah. Okay, because it's not like you can just go out and buy me anything. So what you're saying is there's something bad that I got you that you don't like? Not necessarily. Well, yes, in a sense, there's, there's a few things, but you already know about those few things. What? Like uh, the stocking stuffers. <laughs> that, he made me return. I, it don't make no sense keeping them. I was, I was, so I was mean. brutally honest with I her. was trying to be nice. I know, but you know me being a car guy and all that. It was that, that like, putty to clean your car. And they then, don't work. 
It was a Carhartt hat that was gray. I don't, I already had a black version. That was a limited edition. I was trying to expand his wardrobe color. I don't like expanding my wardrobe color. <laughs> what else did I get you? Um, a Pokedex game holder for the Switch, which I thought was very nice if I really didn't have a case for the Switch that held mad games already in it. Yeah, so his stocking was empty because he made me return all the gifts. How did he find out, you ask? But we saved the money. Don't ask me. That can go towards a better gift. What was the last most embarrassing thing you did that you did not tell me? Because you always doing some nasty stuff around the house. <laughs> so what's the nasty thing you did recently that nasty I don't know stuff, about? Nasty stuff like what? Do you want me to blow your spot up right now? Go ahead. So Shannon be walking around the house, laying down right next to me, just straight up letting one rip. <laughs> I'm just like, yo, so like last night, I'm sitting right here laying down. She's sitting right there like ass to my face type of business. And she let like three of them go. I'm just like, yo, babe, what are you doing? Sorry. You're not sorry because you did it two more times. Whatever I do, I embarrass it. It's always in front of you. I peed myself in front of you. Twice. Twi I made her laugh so hard. She peed herself. Was it, was it twice or three? Twice. And one of the times she didn't even know she peed herself. <laughs> <laughs> Until she got up, it was just a puddle just sitting right there. <laughs> it's harder now when you're a mom. There you go again. <laughs> Blaming motherhood. No, it's true because they say mm -hmm. like when you're a mom and yep. you sneeze, you have to cross your legs. So like nothing goes down. What woke them out? <laughs> Oh, I thought you you planned other stuff coming out of there. Oh my god. She be letting them rip. Yo, what about them boogies too? You be letting them rip too? Yeah, but I make them loud and proud, okay? <laughs> I just let everybody know my business when I go. Those were some easy questions. Thanks, babe. See, once again, I always go easy on you. Shannon thinks I got, got her some easy questions, so I'm definitely gonna have to think of some much better ones and come back at you then. Because if those were easy, which they weren't supposed to be hard, they were just supposed to be fun and interesting. But if you want me to do some embarrassing and hard questions, I got you. Okay. You always want to be mad difficult for no reason. It's not me difficult, it's just like putting me on a spot. You always want to put me on a spot and... <laughs> Thank you, baby. <laughs> now you on her side? He's always on my side. That's what you think. Alright guys, we're going to go feed this little big munchkin. Oh, he's putting up some pounds hmm. and he's eating so much. So <laughs> that protein we're putting in him now. Yes. Thank you guys so much for watching and as always, stay beautiful. <laughs>